welcome back to my channel success engineering official today we are going to calculate the heat loss for winter season actually heat loss we are calculating for winter season just to know the how much heat we are going to lose so accordingly we have to select the heating, heating system meter or boiler or whatever it is so select the heating system we need to calculate the heat loss for the each space we have required the heating system so we have to calculate the heat loss so you can see here and for uh, for winter season uh, for summer season we are calculating the heat gain heat gain heat load how much heat load how much heat we are gaining so accordingly we are selecting the cooling system just to extract that much of heat but here in the winter season we are calculating the heat loss so we have to add accordingly we have to select the heating system so you can see here to calculate the heat loss you should have this simple format and engrave this architecture plan so we will calculate the heat loss for this classroom one so you can see we have to calculate for this classroom one heat loss. So what you will do? Simply enter here, update this information. So here is the uh, customized success engineering estimated by ACC and dimension and space dimension inferior space is classroom one. So length simply here. Length is you can see here this length is forty feet. So what you will do, simply I am deleting all these, okay, simply I am deleting all these things and then we will enter once again just to show you how to update this, okay. So what you will do simply length of the room is 40 feet and width of the room is you see here this uh, drawing width is 20 feet for this classroom also simply enter here 20 so you will get the area here 40 by 20 is 800 and height is 10 feet if you see here height this is the section view so height is 10 feet simply enter here height then you will get the volume here area into height so you will get the 8000 okay and this is this um, this section is design condition so we are designing for example this classroom this drawing is for the Dubai so we will design for the Dubai so for the winter uh, design condition for Dubai Simply what you will do simply open the climatic data software. You open and select here heating, heating and here Middle East, heating Middle East. India, then you will select here Middle East. Where is that? All region, then India. Here is so select here first. I think here UAE is given. So UAE and all region, then here is Dubai. Okay. So what you will do simply send, drop down here and check for the driver. So driver is. 4 degree Fahrenheit. So 
50 interior, 54 degree Fahrenheit, winter travel and then wet valve is and human comfort is 76. Okay, so difference is 22. Weight valve, so simply drop down and select the weight valve. So weight valve you can see here is 45. 5.26 so simply enter here 45 and RH for human comfort is 50 percent. Okay. Now what you will do simply open the psychometric chart. open this carrier psychometric chart you know the two value for example here you know the two value travel and weight one so you have you can calculate all these variables so for to uh, calculate the other value you need to have two values first so this is the psychometric chart what you will do here simply add the point Select here, enter here, dry valve 54 and weight valve is 45. So 54 and weight valve, select here, weight valve 55. So you will get here RH is 40 percent. You can see this is the remaining value. So RH is 48. RH is 48 percent dew point. This is the dew point 35 grain per pounds. So grain per pounds is nothing but the humidity ratio 30. Here is 30. Okay. Now what you will do simply enter the 76 and travel uh, for home comfort. Uh, this room room condition 76 50 percent are. What you will do here is 76 and RH is 50 percent. So you are getting weight valve 63. Here is 63 and the point is 56. Dew point 56. Then humidity ratio is 67. Now what you will do, number of people here simply for ventilation number of people in area in square feet, CFM per person, CFM per square feet, open this app software, cancel this, cancel this also, then go to this space, open any space, And uh, here you can select here education classroom is 9 plus. Okay, so you can see here the CFM per person is 10 and CFM per square is 0 0.12. So CFM per person is 10, CFM per square feet is 0 0.12. For classroom number of people, you can assume 30, 30 people. So area area in a square feet you have to put here area so total area you are getting here 800 simply enter here so you are getting CFM ventilation 396 CFM per person into a number of people plus CFM per square feet into area in square feet there is a formula then what you will do simply enter here the heat loss through the glass open this drawing and you, if you see here this is the glass 10 feet by 40 feet so this side northwest so 10 into 4 40 plus 40 80 and here is 48 well into 4 48 So it loss through the glass is total glass area. So area in square feet is 80 and plus this 48. 80 plus 48. How much? Add the total. So this 
is the 80 plus 48 total is 128 area 128 square feet and delta T is nothing but the outside temperature minus inside temperature so here is is the delta T outside temperature minus inside outside, outside 54 inch 76 difference is 22 so here is 22 and u factor is nothing but the u value so u value is given by the manufacturer or civil people so for the glass u value is 0.56 the total btu is nothing but the q is equal to u by delta t if you know here if you know this formula Q is equal to U into A into delta T. Delta T. So here is the U. If you see here, this Q is equal to U by delta T. This is the U, and this is the area, and this is the delta T. So multiply these three values, you will get this BT power Q. Similarly, heat loss through the wall. So, you have to calculate the heat loss through the wall. So, this is the exposure wall. So, heat loss through this wall. What will be the area of this wall? So, if you see here, this is the 40. This side is the 40, and height is 10. So, 40 into 10, 400, and 20 into 10, 200. So this is the net um, for uh, you have to calculate the net cross wall area. So net wall area. So net wall area here is 4 into 14 to 10. So if you see here 40 into 10, 400 minus 40 my, uh, 40 plus 40 80. So 400 minus 80, 320. Okay, and here is 200 minus. 200 minus 48 152 plus 320 472 it loss through the wall 472 is nothing but the area of the wall and u delta t is nothing but the 22 and u value is 0.41 for the wall okay so here we are getting the total vt per hour it loss through the partition so where is the partition if you see here this is the lobby is unconditioned space and this is the con conditioned space so this will be your partition this wall okay this wall will be your partition what you will do 20 and uh, height is 10 so 200 200 minus this door size so door size is here door size is nothing but 100 minus door size 3.28 into 7 feet 22 feet 22 feet you have to uh, you have to subtract 22 feet 200 minus 22 door size so 178 so what you will do heat loss through the partition so area 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 in square feet 172 178 sorry 178 and uh, delta t is 22 and uh, u value u factor is nothing but 4 so this is your total uh, loss losses in btu per hour okay so heat loss through the uh, ventilation so ventilation cfm you are getting here 396 simply here 396 and uh, here is 22 and you will get here if you see this formula here cfm uh, cfm is equal to a Sensible heat is, is equal to room sensible heat actually here room sensible heat 
ये रूम सेंसेबल हीट इज इक्वल टू सी एफ एम रूम सेंसेबल हीट इक्वल टू सी एफ एम वन पॉइंट जीरो एट वन पॉइंट जीरो एट इंटू सी एफ एम इंटू डेल्टा टी ओके सो सेम इज हियर सो इफ इज दिस इज सेंसेबल हीट सो इट लॉस थ्रू द वेंटिलेशन दैट मीन इज रूम सेंसेबल हीट सो हियर इज द योर वेंटिलेशन रेट CFM into delta T and 1.08 so total is A. It lost through the infiltration because because of this tight construction so we are not considering the infiltration and uh, next is it lost through the slab grade that is nothing but this perimeter so perimeter in feet perimeter is nothing but for this classroom this is the perimeter okay if you see here for this classroom this will be your perimeter okay so here 2 in uh, 2 into 20 height is 20 2 into height is 10 so 20 into 10 200 and here is 14 to 10 400 so total will be sorry here perimeter is nothing but that is 20 and this is the 40 so total will be your 60 so here is 60 and delta t is 22 u value is 0.42 so here you will be your total heat loss okay now here is the total heat loss heat loss subtotal that is that is nothing but heat loss through the glass heat loss through the wall and heat loss through the partition and heat loss through this ventilation and plus heat loss through the slab right here is total the safety factor is 10 percent so 1733 and here is the total heat loss safety factor heat total heat loss plus safety factor is here total heat loss in video per hour so to, uh, total heat loss in kilowatt so to convert this video per hour in kilowatt you have to divide by divided by 3412 so total heat loss is 5.59 kilowatt and air quantity is nothing but air Room sensible heat, room sensible heat, CFM is, is nothing but if you see here this formula, CFM is nothing but room sensible heat divided by 1.08 into delta T. So your room, room sensible heat is nothing but 19071. You see here this one, heat E31, so E and 31. 19071 divided 1.08 into delta T, H13, H13 is nothing but this one. H and 13 this way delta T so this much of heat is required to to be added this room during uh, for winter season this is the heating load and heat loss this much of heat is going to be lost for the winter season from this classroom so to comfort to enter the comfort you need to add 5.5 kilowatt of heat in this classroom so I hope you guys learn how to calculate the heat loss for the winter season and uh, to select the heating system. So thank you for watching my video. I would like to request you guys uh, if you still not subscribe my channel, so please do subscribe it so so that I will get uh, so that you will get the notification of my upcoming video. I am making a lot of video related to MP. So keep watching my channel and. Uh, Thanks once again to subscribe.